Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how you can get Magic the Gathering boxes early and if you wanted to do that. So most Magic the Gathering product, pre-release kits, Modern Masters 2017, booster boxes, even prize boxes. So in case you don't know, prize boxes are the boxes that are supposed to be used for pre-release. Uh, and they are just regular booster boxes. I do feel like they have better stuff in them. I've opened enough of them to know that they do have better stuff in them. And it makes a lot of sense because obviously when you have a lot of people who don't normally play Magic at an event, you want them to have the best time possible. And one of those things is pulling that awesome Mythic or that Planeswalker. Uh, it's a good feeling. So in my opinion, prize boxes have anywhere between five to six Mythics and they tend to be better Mythics than a regular box which has anywhere between two to four mythics. Now, how how did I get the stuff early? And I feel like I'm willing to say this because my friend no longer cares. Uh, we don't buy magic product to the extent we do, so the prizes, if you will, are not being compensated. Uh, essentially, you need to know a store owner. So when you look at a lot of YouTubers, they either own stores, which makes sense. So when you own a store, shipping essentially gets to you Wednesday or Thursday uh, around noontime in the Houston area. So around noon, I would get like a phone call. On, around noon on a Wednesday or Thursday, I would get a phone call. And then after work, I would go pick up the boxes. And then if I was feeling really productive, I would make a video. And then the video would be posted on YouTube and then people would complain about, oh, how do you get product early? Well, a lot of people will say, oh, well, some anonymous person shipped me this box. Well, I mean, that is illegal because there's always, you, for shipping to happen, especially with tracking, especially in a package, there has to be a sender, right? You have to know who the sender is. You can't just ship something without you know, having a sender. Um, I mean, you could, but it could be something like Anthrax. So I'm sure there's government, there's legal policies around that, especially packages of that size. So of course, you know where you got the box from and it is not normally shipped. I can tell you that what happens is a lot of people can get boxes from stores and they just pay cash. Now, what do they pay? I will tell you from experience, I always pay a little bit extra and it's always in cash and then I can get the box early. And if it's a prize box, I will make sure that I don't get it like super early that they can do the pre-releases. Uh, the pre-release kits, they always send so many of those. They send so many, um, at least at the locals I went to. There was so many pre-release kits. I don't know like how many people they were expecting at the events, but it, it's too many. So those can always be sold earlier because from a store perspective, if they don't sell it to me now, they're never going to sell them at a reasonable price. So that's how people get boxes early. They either own a store, so therefore they get the shipping Wednesday before release on Friday, or in many cases, they talk to a store owner and then they get the product early. So on YouTube, as soon, you know, Wednesday, today's Wednesday, the multiple boxes already online on YouTube, um, I can have boxes, but I just don't do that anymore. Uh, mainly because I'm not a huge fan of opening boxes. Not from the expected value perspective, just cause I don't feel like opening stuff on camera, mispronouncing it and then being criticized. I would just rather open it on my own while I'm not talking to myself in a camera with my friends drafting and drinking beer and you know, having a good time as opposed to, you know, having good lighting and worrying about the camera. And my camera is actually has a very low battery life because it shoots, it shoots at a very high resolution and then has to upload and then you're in it slow for a little bit and you can't play League of Legends. So that's why. But I just wanted to address the danger of doing something like this. Each box has a barcode and the barcode each case has a barcode and each box has a barcode so whenever i was uploading videos i was very careful not to show the barcode of the box and a lot of youtubers already know this because they don't show it either 
but that can be traced to the distributor, which can then be traced to the store, which then can be traced back to you. And I always found it funny that Wizard of Coast never cared enough. Um, they never contacted me about like, hey, how do you get this product early? Hey, why is it on YouTube? Hey, blah, 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 blah. And they've never once contacted me about that, although they have contacted me about counterfeits on numerous occasions. They have little to no interest at doing that. You know, early boxes do not interest them at all. They don't care where it came from. They don't care. I mean, I, I, they have my contact information. They have my cell phone number. They have my office phone number. They have my email. They have my personal email. They have. They know how to get in touch with me. Let me put it that way, because uh, they're always curious. They they were very curious about the counterfeit saga, but that's another story. A long time. Uh, that's another story. I'll tell when I feel more confident in, uh, in I guess what's happening with them that you know specific action is being taken and then i would tell that story and it's a very interesting story because it's always delson the main major counterfeiter who now has sub counterfeiters underneath him but anyway i'm going off topic essentially you don't need to be a, a youtuber you don't need to be an mtg celebrity whatever that means to get stuff early like it comes down to will you pay this dude cash and that's what a lot of YouTubers are doing. And they do it because they want to put the box up early to get views, which, you know, that's good on them, right? Uh, I get boxes early. I just don't, you know, opening stuff is not my forte. Uh, obviously, butchering names is kind of funny sometimes. But at the end of the day, I don't want to... It's not that the store cares or I care uh, particularly because I know the store owner. Cause he's getting free product anyway. Like the distributors just send him, they wanted him to be hooked to magic. The whole point of sending him free, and I'll tell you exactly what the free product looks like. It's not like a regular case during pre-release. It's like, like it's some A for revolt plus, oh, some like Innistrad. Innistrad I remember the most cause I remember getting that box. It's boxes of uh, shadows over Innistrad. And then you, you have, not original answer ad, you have two boxes of Averson Restored. And like four boxes of prize boxes of Shadow and two of Averson Restored. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how does this become a case? Uh, I've always wondered, and it happens quite frequently, because then for, I think, Eldritch Moon, there's like two boxes of uh, Dark Ascension and then four boxes of Eldritch Moon as prize boxes. But the funny part was we never had a tournament because we never, like, there was not a WPN con. I don't know why they kept sending us stuff. They used to, um, initially they sent us promos, but then they didn't send us any promos. Because I feel like we didn't, re we were never registered. They were never, my friend was never registered. He just talked to the distributor. A distributor found him at a gaming convention in Houston. I'm not going to mention which one because then that could limit, you know, who he is. And it was like, hey, dude, do you want to carry magic? And then he texted us, he's like, what do you, what do you guys know about magic? He, he's a, he sells used and trades used video games. That's the game, that's the store. And then occasionally, I mean, he, he does order stuff from Ami Ami, so I guess maybe that's how he met the distributor um, because that's another distribution network from Japan that he orders anime figures. And at one time, he was ordering a lot of cards by Vanguard. But overall, like, it's quite easy to get, where's it the coast or the, the distribution network? They only make money if they hook stars on this product, right? If they can commit $5,000 a month from a store that's extra revenue so the store wants to send them stuff and then the store owner is going to or the distributor sends the store owner stuff and store owner is like well, i don't know what the hell this is let me throw it up or let me put it on ebay or let me sell it in or let me post it on facebook somewhere and then you know then they realize there's money in it and then they can commit to a bigger order and that's what my friend was doing but honestly he's a energy trader in, te in texas i works at a huge energy company so for him, the money is not a concern. And then he's like, why am I doing this? This is not that much that lucrative. I'm not going to do this anymore. So anyway, uh, that's the truth of the story. When people say they got an anonymous box, I mean, you know exactly where you got the box from. You know exactly which store gave you the box. And if that store was ever... Um, if the store was ever promoted in a strange way, you would know... So the, the way I would put it is, if you're promoting a store, 
it's likely that store gave you that box because why are you promoting the store, right? What benefit does this, your promotion do for the store? And you might say, oh, the store pays you money. It's just a very tricky thing if you've ever promoted a store in the past. And that's why I never promoted any stores. I mean, outside of Dave and Adam, who just has the cheapest price, but they've never given me anything. They have never received an item from them ever. Uh, unless I paid for it. The same can be said about, you know, ink playmats, any of these places I buy stuff from and tell you to buy from because it's a the good, it's the cheapest price and you can confirm it is the cheapest price. But um, if you're promoting a store and then you suddenly get these free products or you get these products super early, Wizard of Coast anytime can make the connection, right? That, hey, I wonder who is sending you this free product super early right? <laughs> I mean, it's not like rocket science here. And then anytime they can take away the WPN client well, for that, for that particular store, that would suck. I would hate to be the one who calls that store to lose F and M to lose pre-release or to lose some product even, um, because it's on you. Uh, my friend store again, I'm sharing this information because he no longer cares about magic. He just wants to collect. He has, I don't know why he has so many of this, but he has a ton. He has, I think, 10, 15 in, uh, Nintendo Switches, and he's not going to sell any of them because he makes enough money that it, this to him, to him, getting copies of Zelda, getting old school Zelda, old school Pokemon, like having a center where people kind of go to him and sell stuff at 25% or 40% of what it's worth, video game wise, that's how he has created his large video game. So he never cared about magic. He never cared about what would happen to those free stuff. And he's still getting some free stuff. Although he like he told him like stop sending the stuff. They still send him the stuff. And they, I don't think it will ever stop because they know that at some point he was spending $5,000 to them a month. And as a distributor, you're like, oh, well, this is extra $5,000 uh, for just magic cards. And he was buying... He bought Kai Judo, which was a disaster for him. So he wasn't too, he still has Kai Judo. And he bought, um, what was he buying? Warhammer, I think Warhammer, and that never sold because he never tried to sell it. And he was like, I don't know, he had this weird concept where he would like hire people to come in to paint them and then he wanted to like sell them painted, but that's not how Warhammer apparently works. Anyway. That's it guys, leave me a comment below how you feel. I just wanted to just come clean with you guys of like how things get done is early product means a store gave, if unless you are a store, early product means a store gave you it. You're, you're, a distributor will not send you one box. That's not how distribution works because by definition distribution is to alleviate the fact that they have to send to multiple stores, multiple boxes, right? Like we're talking about pallets of boxes have to go out in a timely manner, especially during pre-release. So people can have their pre-release and sometimes it doesn't work, but these distribution things are not going to sell send individual boxes. That's you, you get individual boxes from a store. Now, should the store give you the individual box to open on YouTube? questionable. I'm not going to argue either way, but I just wanted you guys to know if you wanted to open a box opening channel, that's how I would do it is I would go to a local game store, tell them, Hey, I'm going to pay you cash. Send me a text. When you get this shipment, I'm going to pick you up as soon as it gets there. And then I'll open it, film it that night, uh, film it that day. And then it will be posted that night. That's why I like the sequence is exactly the same. Always. It's either Wednesday, they get the box at noon, they get around four or five, they start filming and then they can go out around 8, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. And then either, and then if it doesn't arrive because FedEx was late a day, then it'll arrive Thursday. It never arrives Friday because that's cutting it too close. Uh, plus the fact that a lot of stores have midnight releases on Thursday night slash Friday morning. Uh, and that's why it never arrives Friday. So uh, essentially that's, you know, I wanted to tell you how it is. Um, it, it sucks for regular players. It sucks for regular stores that don't do it. But at the end of the day, you know, the trade-off is YouTube promotion for the store. If I give you this free box early and sometimes they give prize boxes 
And that's just that's the saddest part, in my opinion, is when they take stuff from players and then give it. Like Modern Master 2 17, I don't care. Like it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Supply is there. But a prize box, um, that's when it gets kind of sketchy. And I've been offered them from stores that do Friday Night Magic. I've just never accepted them because there was A, no need to because my friend doesn't, he doesn't have any tournaments. And Wizard Coast knows that. He's not registered with them. He never signed a contract. He never took pictures of, if he took pictures of his store, actually, he probably has, it's on Instagram. Like, <laughs> he has like pictures. His store is just his personal video game collection, and it's pretty epic. And it is in a very safe location, actually. And he obviously has it insured. I'm sure that if someone broke in and set it on fire, he would have, he would actually be okay with it because then he could, like, not do it anymore and get at least a quarter million dollars in video games. And it'd be like, oh, well, insurance. Uh, so that store is heavily insured, I know, because he has two different policies for it. Um, in Houston, we get a lot of floods. So he has a flood policy, and then he has a fire policy, and then he has a theft policy. And then he has, like, specific stuff. Um, one of our other friends is a lawyer, and he's uh, he's a contract lawyer, so he helps us, like, with that stuff for, in exchange for video games, apparently. <laughs> anyway, long, long rant. Bye, guys.